Hey folks, Scott here, coming to you with a cowboy video, and uh, we just beat the Seattle Seahawks. Excuse me, 24 to 22. It was really it should have been 24, 20 or whatever, maybe even 24, 14. But man, I'll get to the last part. But overall, very glad we won the game. We deserve to win that. Dak, uh, the game ball is definitely on you. You deserve to win that game. Um, you didn't play too bad. You actually played okay. You, you had that one interception that really shouldn't have been an interception. Noah Brown should have fucking caught it, and he fucking didn't. Hopefully he's the next guy to be cut uh, this coming off season. so yeah. Definitely one of those guys that should be cut. But anyways, getting to the game, uh, our defense, for the most part, played overall pretty good. You know, we were able to stop and contain Wilson at times. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't force any turnovers, which sucks, because it seems like... Our defense lacks the ability to do so. That's why hopefully we'll have some changes coming, like changes in the in the safety position. And like I said, the defensive tackle, um, the defensive tackle position definitely needs to be upgraded. I mean, I think Malik Collins even had to go out for a while. He had a an ankle relate. It's either an ankle or a hamstring issue that he had, and uh, he's kind of injury prone. So we definitely need some beef in that middle to clog the runs and at least apply some pressure on the opposing offenses pretty much and then like I said we need we need someone who has the ability to kind of rove around the field in the safety position whether that's Earl Thomas or another free agent pickup or even a draft somebody in the draft more or less we definitely need to upgrade those two positions I think we'll be okay at corner but it was overall an ugly game we were able to pull through in a couple of drives we would take, we would retake the lead like at one point, Seattle actually took the lead on us 14-10 to 10, um, during the third quarter where somehow Baldwin made that fourth down catch when he was able to kind of drag his feet across. I was like, that lucky fucking bastard. <laughs> but he's good for a reason. I mean, he's not incredibly flashy, but he will make the contested catches when you least see it coming. So, And props to Russell Wilson. He actually played pretty solid, especially in the second half. First half, he didn't do much on this, but uh, I mean, he did have those two good throws, but other than that, he didn't really do much. Second half, he had that... <sighs> Man, that the last two minutes fucking scared me. <laughs> Byron Jones, I don't know what the fuck you were thinking or what you were doing, but how the fuck can you not stick with that guy and allow him to go 50 fucking yards? Especially when it's in crunch time. You should have at least fucking stayed with him. And plus, also Rob Minnelli, hopefully after this, you're fucking gone for good because I don't see how you can allow that shit anymore. Or allow a guy to get that fucking loose. It's just mind-boggling sometimes. That's why after this season, or well, it's playoff season, but hopefully you're gonna your ass is gonna be fucking gone and you won't call defense ever again. So, anywho, I guess I'll get to the cons. The cons were uh, we should have done better a little bit. Should have done better offensively. Uh, we should at least take advantage of you know taking the lead when we have a chance. We finally did. In the last three minutes or so. And, uh, yeah, it's unbelievable. Um, uh, what else what can I say? Uh, luckily, Dak only was sacked once and, uh, didn't, well, he had that one turnover, but I wouldn't say it's all on him. But there was at times where Scott Lindheim really frustrated me. And honestly, even though, uh, you've allowed Dak to finally run in the second half. I wish you would have done that more in the first half. That would have probably opened up more stuff for the offense. After this season, you still need to fucking go. And you can take your fucking, uh, your uh, loyal son, Kellen Moore, with you too, so. So, overall, how should I say this? The cons, not being a creative enough on offense, and, uh... Defense, uh, the last two minutes, you need to really fucking step it up. You can't just take anyone lightly. They're going to try to fucking, you know, pull a miracle, and they almost fucking did. Luckily, uh, their kicker, which uh, I forget what his name is, he's who's in his probably 40s, but uh, he uh, injured his hamstring when he missed that one field goal, so... Thankfully, we didn't, he didn't have, we didn't, they didn't have their kicker. Otherwise, this, day, this game could have gone totally different. Could have gone completely different. But the pros, Dak, you, other than those mistakes you had, you really played your ass off. You deserve this win. That 
Third and 14, I didn't know if, he, if Linehan was going to go to the predictable pass play. But thankfully, you, he allowed Dak Press, or Prescott real, was able to take the run and went and got 16 yards on that third and 14. Man, that was so fucking great. And then he is the one that fucking scored that touchdown, that quarterback sneak. So, Dak, from the bottom of my heart, you fucking deserve this game. You fucking did. It's a good win for you, man. And Zeke. Oh, yeah, Zeke was a, another pro. He got over 100 yards, had 137 yards rushing. Didn't fumble like he actually did in week three against the Seahawks. So, thankfully, he played pretty good. He had that 44-yard run, so that definitely helped. And uh, the the O line played pretty decently. They had like maybe one or two calls against them, so and they only allowed that one sack. But other than that, we did a pretty good job on on the offensive line. Just we need to get creative. But overall, um, I'm very glad you won, Dallas. You had to fight hard to get this win, and finally you beat the Seahawks at home for once. It's been a good while. I think the last time we even beat the Seahawks at home was back in. 2011, when Rommel was still playing, we won 23-13 to 13 in that game. So, yeah. And just to celebrate this, I got some milk, and I'm going to dip a fucking cookie. A chocolate chip peanut butter cookie. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Uh, it's always good to celebrate the victory with some cookies. Mm. Mm. Fuck it. Since we won, I'm going to have another one. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Oh, these cookies! <laughs> That's a line from, um... Jingle all the way, um, that actor, uh, gosh, what is his name? I normally would remember this. It was Phil something, I think, but he was the one that was trying to go after uh, Schwarzenegger's wife in that film, and he had the ability to cook and all that good stuff, so yeah. Mm. 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 What a hell of a day. We won, and I get to eat my cookies. Anyways, I'm going to end it right here, folks, so um, I will be seeing you in another video. Bye-bye.